Hey, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney, and uh, we have a viewer question today. And it's a really good one. It's one that I would never have thought uh, to answer, right? Um, and that, that makes sense because I'm here, and you are there, and I'm not always going to know what you need to know. That's why I need these questions. That's why these questions really help me help folks on your end, right? And so the question came up because I made a video earlier in the week about um, not telling your job about a disability during the interview. Wait till you're actually hired, right? Because I want you to get the job. And I'm not saying every employer is going to discriminate against you. But I am saying many will. <laughs> Maybe most. I, you know, I just, that's a horrible thing to say and I don't want to depress you. You know, but human beings are human beings and we need to count on them to behave like human beings behave. Um, so I made this video saying, hey, uh, you know, wait until you're hired to, to ask for your accommodation for your disability. But then I got this question was, hey, so when I uh, wait to the, you know, have the job and I go ahead and go and get my letter from the doctor and I bring it to my employer for my letter of accommodation for my disability, um, what do I say? And that's a really good question. So obviously I don't know your supervisor, your boss, your HR professional, right? I'm here, you're there. I'm not gonna know them, you know them. So a lot of this is gonna be you applying your judgment and your people skills to fine tune what I'm saying. But what I would do probably would be to uh, get something in writing first. So like shoot them an email with your letter of accommodation for your doctor, be like, hey, uh, I just wanted to, you know, so excited to be here, really looking forward to making a difference for this company. Uh, see attached my letter of accommodation for my disability from my doctor. I'll be stopping by later to chat about it, right? Why do it in writing first? Paper trail, evidence. I'm sure they're gonna accommodate you and I'm sure they're not gonna give you any trouble. But if they do, I wanna have everything I need to go ahead and stab them in the back for you, right? Like. I guess stab in the front, they'll see me coming. Um, so make sure that, you know, if you're in a situation later where you need an employment attorney, I'd like you to have a little box of ammunition, which we're gonna call your box of evidence, to give to your employment attorney. Like, oh boy, I gotta hire this mercenary to go take care of these people. Here's the ammo, right? Here's the evidence. Here's the paper trail of me asking for my accommodation. Okay, then you stop and you're like, oh, yeah, as per my email, um, really excited to be here. Thank you so much for the trust you put in me by hiring me. I'm going to do great. I can't wait to make a difference, going to produce for this, this company. Uh, I just want, you know, these are the things I need to um, really succeed for you. Is that corny? Yeah. Am I a corny human being? Yeah. It's also probably the best way to go about it to my mind. You may be cooler than me. You may have lots of good ideas of things to say. I think many people will be because I have the social skills of a human being who chose a profession where he fights with people all day, every single day. Right? So not, not good, not good social skills. So, so bad that I can't even feel the pain that other people would feel by, from fighting with people all day long, right? Um, so you might, you might have better ideas, but that's how I would go about it. And I've seen a lot of people do it that way and it's worked well. It's worked well in situations where the employer did the right thing. I think in many cases it's pushed the employer to do the right thing. And it also sets you up for, uh, for success if the employer does not do the right thing in accommodating you, right? It really sets up your case with that box of evidence, that box of ammunition for your attorney. Um, you're going to be in a good place. Okay. I hope that helps. Thank you for the question. I would never have even thought, right? I'm just a bull in a China shop running around being like, yeah, accommodations now, right? Like there's a better way. We can be civil. We can be polite. We can be ingratiating. This is our job and you're still an at-will employee. There's no reason to go in aggressive, right? So yeah, I hope this helps. And if it does help, consider liking and subscribing. That really helps me to help more people just like you. And I do track the comments on these videos. I don't track AVO messages. I don't track 
you know, posts on Facebook or anything like that, but I get really good notifications from YouTube. So if you comment here, uh, I will try to get back to you. If you email me, I don't even always get that because we have major spam filters and uh, honestly, I get a lot of emails. So um, this this is actually the best place. <laughs> Maybe I should tell my family to reach me this way here. Uh, all right, good luck everyone.